Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to some Zero Hour 1.4. We are ho your hosts, the General's Gentlemen. We hope you know who we are by now. It's true. We are very narcissistic and... Uh, if you say you don't nurse, we'll be very sad. And so this is actually going to be Inf versus USA, and that's kind of cool because... When it, whenever whenever Blake and I play his Infant Army USA, I just kill him with a Humvee. Well, every time, man. Every time. And he's just like, how can I defend against this? And we're going to find out. <laughs> this is 1.4, though. Yeah. So, yeah. That often you actually see this. You often see that China Inf players be really aggressive with, with the forward barracks. Uh, and then it prevents the Humvees from... <laughs> wow, okay. Going for a fire base, man. Is he going one supply here? I don't even know. Maybe, maybe oil cap or something. Yeah, this is crazy. Anyway, That's big next gonna be our USA. I, I like the looks of this. Oh, look at this Chinook Scout. Is that a, what? Double is that, oh, he's mining oh. from the middle. Okay. Oh. Odd. What? What's I, going on here? I don't even know, man. Is this man. actually big neck? Oh, the bait though. Like, oh, there's no supply That's there. That's fine. I'll just go kill your trucks. Yeah. Just kidding. There isn't any. Where's your oh, he doesn't get on top of the dozer in time. If he went to the other supply, he might have killed the dozer. Okay, so he's gonna be able to. Damn get it! One you would have you would have crushed my missile defenders there, machine, with your Uber Micro. How sad. So we have double barracks, man. Is he just gonna? Is he just gonna man spam his way? Man spam. Oh, works. the meter gunner on the on the Chinook. Man, man spam is the best. I'm not sure what the artillery platform is to prevent. I'm guessing it, he's expecting more attack outposts, but it's not gonna work very well against mini gunners. The infantry is too fast. The infantry they they can't attack it though, because if they're stationary they die. But at the same time you can just walk through it. Mm. And so. there we go. Finally gets an assault troop crawler out. He will actually lose the troop crawler. He gets a lot of minigunners, but it's a lot of money down the drain. So the biggest thing here is it's a tough position to be in as trying to imp. Man, I know this matchup. It's great. Uh, it's a tough position to be in as trying to imp having the war factory there because long build time of the assault troop crawler, and it's super expensive. So in terms of, of timing when you get out your units, it's like it's really hard to defend against a missile defender drop where you don't have a barracks on that position. And you don't have a barracks anywhere near that supply in this case. So this minigunner, oh, he will get a Chinook here, it seems. There's no, there's no army to defend this, but still it's just de de delaying the mining. At the same time, there's only one truck, so this is going to be a really low economy game from both of our players. At least the Chinooks can mine somewhere else, but <laughs> this minigunner, man. This, this one guy is, is contributing... 90% to Todd Extinction's war effort right now. <laughs> Everyone else like, trying to carry these bad teammates, and this guy's just like, look, look, I I I'll prevent any and all mining. You guys just, I don't know, go, go kill like a Humvee or something. A horror guy, he might go down here uh, though. Oh well. That's a shame. You have served as well. I think Todd Extinction was, was contemplating getting a forward supply, but he couldn't have defended that, so holding off for now, getting the, the two trucks down, and this is just very exposed. Look at the power plant here is very exposed. He's got a war factory, and there's two Humvees rolling around. So this game is it's it's just so tense because I feel like both of our players have very little, and it's going to be hard for them to defend. Honestly, I think this kind of favors Big Neck. Humvees are much more, I guess, more spammable in terms of like like even low count Humvees with either Hellfire drones or Omnis sort of defenders, and they're more mo they're, so they're, yeah, they're more mobile than kind of attack outposts are and they're not as expensive so I guess this kind of favors big neck in a sense and he is putting on the aggression now I'm so that's gonna be dangerous so there's a dangerous 1.4 attack outpost full of mini gunners chocolate block could, could you say look I'd say it's chocker block full of uh, infantry units my friend those that goes down will be the dead supply as well so decisive decision from I mean that's a bit redundant <laughs> isn't it it's kind of saying the same a thing twice bit. but anyway this outpost no no but that works decisive decision works so yeah anyway big fan big fan of your work <laughs> either way this this outpost it, it was about over here when when the Humvees were revealed attacking the power and yet Todd Extinction didn't defend Can his base instead he, he went man mode. He, he went to attack the base of, of, of Big Neck, go for his channels. He gets both of them, may get some Humvees as well, and at the same time, will be a base trade. Not, Not really a base trade, just base a, a right base acquire. Other, yeah. Base acquisition <laughs> from, from Mr. A Todd Extinction. Base relocation. Yeah. And this this outpost. Oh, it's kind of uh, duking out. Oh, I got Miss Microed. Yeah. He got all, the evac. They're all half health for this infantry getting slaughtered. 
Oh, this Humvee counting's beautiful from Big Nick. There we go. He gets the Humvee down at least, but there's... But there's no income. How much income do we even have? Big Nick can't even afford another chino. He's gonna have to sell something. Maybe... Uh, I don't even know what he would sell. He's... Power? I don't know what he does in this situation. I mean, probably made it to the fire base. I don't know. So Todd, his base is right next to each other. There's nothing down the bottom anymore apart from one lonely spy drone. He is, he is very lonely right now. Yeah. He's very really lonely. There's no base oh, room okay. to watch over anymore. So Big Nick goes for the kill. He doesn't invest in, in any more Chinooks. Doesn't doesn't sell anything. Instead, he just builds more units. He wants to close the game now. And he has really three, cool. he has oh, three Humvees, so he can probably do it as well. How much money... I mean, Todd, he's farming off that supply with... Uh, he can't afford Full efficiency. Outpost. He's going... But he's farming, I mean, uh, three three supply trucks. And there's only one RPG and, and, and minigunners. Oh, do even the dozers are going in. And this is pretty clever, too, because the minigunners do very little damage against the dozers, but quite a fair bit against the Humvees. Okay, they're going to zone here while oh, they go for the kill. Yeah. What a boss. The supply trucks, if they move in, they should get within, like... Well, the, the dozers go down, shots. but it means the Humvees were able to get the, the factory. But the outpost actually completes here. Evacs the RPGs already, retargeting the, the truck. Not the best choice there, but now it's the infantry being thrown in one at a time. One Humvee gets taken out here. Vet 3 Humvee can kite this one. Big Nick's starting to kite this one away. The minigunners are still up here. And Todd's still, still farming mining. with, yeah, with Builds one. Builds a barracks? Yeah, barracks are smart here. He, he can't rely on trying to get an outpost out. It's too expensive. 2,000 for the war factory and then 1,100. Well, actually, one, one $1,000 AOs, $1,000 AOs, $1,000 attack outpost from the war factory. So this is much more, this, this is a better way to spend his money because He's it's, a bunker. it's much cheaper to invest uh, the 300 in getting these tank hunters. Exactly. It's much quicker as well. Timing is pretty crucial here. Bunker would be fantastic. Yeah, Big Neck's trying to punish this before a bunker goes down. If a bunker goes down on this side, he won't be able to punish the supply anymore. Yeah, I guess the truck down. Jeez, Todd needs really to get a float nice as well. Okay. Oh, he just gets the mine off. Oh, stealthy supply though. Is he Is he going to go steal yeah, the other supply? He's going for a trade, man. He knows he can't keep this base alive anymore, so he should sell out these. He can't build a supply though. Lost his power plant. He needs to build a building now before he but loses it. it. There we go. He gets the down. scaffold down. This game is nuts. This is crazy. There's, there's no a, dozer there's left. No buildings here. So Big Nick can't actually build a scaffold. The Humvees defend, are moving defend in. The Humvees. Leave the, maybe leave the tank hunters there for the, the Humvees. But, and there's no search and destroy or anything. Big Nick doesn't have any cash either. So these Humvees are all he has. Do I would sell the arty platform and try and get something out. Might as well get some repair drones. That yeah. would help out too. Sell the arty platform and get repair drones here. I guess would be the dream. This is insane! Gotta remember as well, when he kills the factory, it will spawn rangers. He doesn't want oh, that. Oh, he doesn't want to kill it. No. No. Because then it's going to be even more to deal with. Man, what a crazy game. This is fantastic. Oh, he, decides, he, he stopped on 99%, I guess, trying to decide whether to complete it or yeah. not. Whether to cancel and move it if he needs to. Okay, oh, one Humvee gets oh, taken oh, out! No! It. Doesn't get an evac either, so he gets the, the pilot inside the Humvee. So that's vet 3 now, with tower upgrade. He doesn't want to kill it. He wants more units. I, I How wonder many more units can Tin Tog get out? Does he have any cash? I wonder if it's worth Big Neck's Humvee actually killing his own war factory to spawn his own rangers. It probably would be. It'd be down. Yeah, he's not killing it for exactly that reason. Look, adding on another tank hunter here. More RPGs are spawning from the barracks. There's two he's left. He's saving up enough cash just in case he has to just to rebuild a building in case this this the, the barracks goes down. That's clear. Go for a bunker! Look at the bunker! Oh. He can take out the rangers if this bunker goes down. He can use that to take out the rangers. He has enough for it. Though the bunker's actually blocked I guess off. Okay, the doors it goes down here. What? Oh! <laughs> it's still alive. The doors are still up. Can top play around this. The bunker would be perfect because then the rangers can't do anything against the bunker. Okay, going to the war factory. This is risky though. The minigunners, they're already spun up though, so it doesn't yeah. matter too much. The Vet 3 spun up minigunners, so they're already dishing out the, the raw deeps to those those uh, yeah. those things. But actually, is he going for the kill now? It base race, it'll go towards Todd Extinction. He should just base race this, I think. He should just base race this. Base race it! Oh, it's too late oh, now, though. Lose the, the... It's too late now! Oh, no! Todd Extinction! What have you done? Oh, no! You fool! You fool! He can build a barracks, though, can't he? He can. He can throw Where, something down here. The he's going to trap. He's going to throw a scaffold down and trap the Humvee. He's going to trap the Humvee. Can he get it? He didn't get it. Okay, still, he may kill this other barracks. He can't cancel it. He cannot cancel that barracks. He if will he lose the, the game. Barracks, he loses the game. No. Split. <laughs> Split. He might lose this. Too late. I feel like it's he's too late. He's going for the Humvee. 
He's gonna get it, man. Oh, no, he gets forced away. away. It's still up. The dozer's still building it, which means it's still it's regaining health. It has health. The dozer needs to repair this one as well. Uh does he does he base race now? It's probably too risky. That was he a needs to maybe play. Re repair the barracks and then go for the base yeah. race. See now he might get it. Because it, it'll die fast, man. Location, it'll yeah. die fast. Yeah, the Humvee. Oh, the firebase as firebase well! Firebase within range of these <laughs> units. This game is insane. The whole okay. bonus is going to help out here as well. So that was a genius play because he was trying to bait the Humvee in behind the barracks, cut it off, and then build the scaffold. And the barracks, the uh, the Humvee goes down, he wins the game. Because he didn't know how much cash he had left. Taking a bit of damage here, though. Oh, good but Tony. that's going to be it, I think. The firebase won't count as a structure. No, it doesn't. Picnic is defeated. Oh! That was a close one. That was brilliant, yeah. Zero Hour. See, that's why Zero Hour is great. Ah. Uh. It's moments like these, remember how much we love the game. How yeah. much do we love this game, machine? Too much. Love this game way too much. Woo! Look at the supplies collected. 10,800 versus 5,400 in an 11 minute game. That was so smart from both of our players there. That was insane. <laughs> I love Zero Hour so much. <laughs> Lordy. Well, if you, if you love. The general's gentleman, as much as you love us, oh, no wait, is damn it. If you love the general's gentleman as much as as we love casting Zero Hour, you can support us over Indeed. at Patreon.com/slash Generals Gentleman. Please do consider we taking a look. At yes, it. where we're basically yeah. uh, you can help us um, turn our YouTube and casting into a, a full-time thing, so we can uh, focus all our time and energy and effort into the channel, pump out more jolly good content. So. Thank you to those who have already been backing us on our Patreon, and we do hope that uh, you enjoyed the cast. Thank you. Thank you.